it's Monday, and that means it's time for another episode of cases that should have gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. Today, we're talking about tax evasion and malicious prosecution. Cases that should have gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. Tony Samaru and his wife ran a business in Nanaimo. They were accused by the Canada Revenue Agency of skimming $1.7 million from their business over the course of several years. Ultimately, after the trial for tax evasion, they were acquitted and they brought a subsequent lawsuit against the Canada Revenue Agency, alleging that there had been a malicious prosecution against them. That lawsuit was dismissed and that finding was upheld at the Court of Appeal. Mr. Samaru argued throughout the malicious prosecution case an important question. Is the standard for proving that a prosecution is malicious too high in the context of tax evasion cases so as to make it impossible for anyone who is subjected to a potentially malicious prosecution for tax evasion to be successful. This is a hugely important issue for the court to decide and the Supreme Court of Canada missed an opportunity here. Malicious prosecution is a, a civil action that is very rarely used in Canadian law but it is of fundamental importance because it is the thing that protects private citizens against malicious actions by the state in pursuing them for criminal or quasi-criminal charges. And so making sure that the standard to sue the state, if they acted unreasonably in prosecuting somebody, if they acted maliciously in prosecuting somebody, is not so high as to be unachievable is an important goal for all Canadians. It ensures the fairness of the system and a hard look at whether or not the standard is set too high as to be unmeetable in these types of cases is exactly the thing that the Supreme Court of Canada is supposed to be looking at. This is an issue of national importance because it affects everybody who is facing a potentially misguided, possibly malicious prosecution, and in particular, people who are facing those in the context of tax evasion, which can have huge consequences, not just fiscally, but also to a person's reputation and their business. The Supreme Court of Canada owed a responsibility to Mr. Samaru and to everybody else facing a malicious prosecution uh, claim, as well as advancing one, to clarify this, to make sure that this isn't an impossible standard for people to meet. And unfortunately, they missed that opportunity in a significant way that's potentially going to lead to harm in future cases. Cases that should have gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. I'm Kyla Lee at Acumen Law Corporation. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of cases that should have gone to the Supreme Court of Canada but didn't. Tune in next week for another video. Like, subscribe, and share with your friends.